Good morning, loves. How are you feeling deep inside? What are your thoughts? And how do they direct your day? Think about that. You see, if we are living this so-called program, our thoughts are the ones that are controlling us, right? But do these thoughts always come naturally? Or they come randomly? Or are they the collective thoughts that you are feeling and thinking and sensing? This is for you who are super sensitive to other people, other people's thoughts, and who do actually suffer because of what other people feel or say or do. This is for the super sensitive. Because when you are that aware and when you are that open, you feel everything. You feel it, you see it, you sense it, and you can't ignore it no matter what you try. There are ways to clear yourself of that because this is a learned behavior. To become super sensitive to everything around you is a learned behavior. It might have been something, some incident that happened during childhood that made you feel unsafe. So made you feel that you have to always be connecting and seeing how everybody is feeling. That's an inner childhood wound that still is in effect today. Like many of you, including myself, that did experience some things in childhood that made you super sensitive. Sometimes it is hard to be close to a lot of people because you feel them. Sometimes it is, it is, it is hard to be in, in, um, in a place where, where people are maybe negative, looking negative at you or maybe you feel judged. Or maybe it is just because you are so super open and super sensitive that you just feel everybody. And, I, and, and not all the time are people trying to, you know, look down upon you or anything like that. And the reason why I'm saying this is because in this day and age, when you look at the news, which I hope you don't, um, you feel the people. It's, a, it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like plugging into a faulty electrical circuit and getting hurt. That's what the news is for many people because it really is an, it, it is not reality. <laughs> many people think it is, but it's not. So if you start feeling overwhelmed when you look at things like that, stop. If you need to go out into your garden and, and put your hands down in the soil, I would tell you, take your shoes off and put your feet into the soil and let yourself let go of the charge that you have in your system. That would help you in so many ways. So my take is Think of what it is that is running your system. If it is negative thoughts, if it is limiting beliefs, if it is the thoughts of I'm not good enough or I feel this or I feel that, that doesn't move you forward, then you know that you are repeating a cycle that you have repeated for a long, long time. And that's the time when you want to say, okay, I need to shift the way I deal with this. I need to shift the way I run my programs or run my day or start my day or finish my day. And to do that, I would suggest you look into my program. It's called Hypno Health and Wealth. 
It's about opening up to the wells and the hells, your, your, your own inner peace. It's about shifting your reality so that you are safe and you're in a safe place so that you feel that you can create all what you have wanted to create on this planet, so that you can again become the creator that you are here to, to be. You're not here to do, you're here to be. So for my sake and for your sake, I'm just here to remind you that there are people here that can help you. There are ways of getting out of this mind prison, which it would be. So, and soon, very soon, I will be offering a workshop online where we're going to go into the other versions of ourselves. So stay tuned with much love and light over and out.